What is going on guys? Grave here. Of course today we got the reveal of Battlefield 2042's mode called Hazard Zone, which is DICE and EA's kind of new spin or new take on Battle Royale. It's a little bit different than your classic Battle Royale games. They set it up as kind of a uh, idea of where all the satellites in the uh, kind of in the atmosphere in the year 2040 have malfunctioned and they're crashing to the ground so the US and Russian forces are actually going in and trying to retrieve these uh, satellite drives or these data drives so it's going to put you of course in a squad and it's going to be you know every squad for himself so pretty much like a battle royale setup but one thing about this is a little bit different of course is you have to collect dial, uh, all the data drives excuse me before you do extract and the other kind of key point to this is it's one life only so it says everything matters every bullet every skirmish every decision counts I think that's why they're kind of going with a smaller player count. The player count right now is 32 on new gen and PC and 24 on old gen. I'm assuming they're trying to keep the player count smaller considering it is a one life thing. You can't revive your teammates, bring them back or anything like that like you can in other BR games. So I think they're trying to, uh, you know, make it a little bit of a smaller uh, mode player wise. That way, you know, you're not just in a skirmish right off the bat and having to worry about dying instantly and of course you know just having to go out and start over again even though that's kind of the whole concept of battle royale anyway but at least some other battle royale games actually give you the option to be revived or be brought back into the map they may add something in later on like that i'm not sure but it does sound like a very interesting mode i think they're trying to do something a little bit different than they did with battlefield 5 and firestorm i think firestorm could actually have been a really good br if it was supported but after it launched it did not have a great launch and then it was not a lot of support there uh, after that of course it says to leave the hazard zone alive and reap the benefits of the data drives you've collected teamwork will be crucial you have to make sure you get these data drives and get out before the storm takes over this is alongside your equipment you can also buy tactical upgrades that can drastically improve your chances of survival they said there are 15 upgrades available at launch they just listed a few of them like an extra throwable which you can carry one extra uh, throwable gadget insider information that shows the landing position and crashing uh and crashing capsules 30 seconds before they arrive. So things like loadout insurance, uh, negotiated bounty, uh, quick draw holster, just kind of list a few. I think this could be, uh, you know, a very interesting mode that some people will enjoy. A lot of people out there that like battle royale style games or even things like Tarkov, uh, you know, there's a little bit more of a uh, hardcore kind of battle royale style game. I think a lot of players will be interested in this. Between the classic multiplayer, uh, between the portal mode and between uh, this new uh, hazard zone mode. I think people are going to have a lot of choices here. I think this kind of shows us why there's no campaign. I know people were disappointed there was no campaign this year. But they're really doing three big game modes that are completely different for, for, you know, kind of all players out there to play. So if you're a fan of creating your own thing like in Gary's Mod, you'll have the portal to play. If you like classic uh, Battlefield Conquest, you'll have that to play. And if you're more of a fan of Battle Royale or kind of more of a hardcore Battle Royale, you'll have Hazard Zone to play. So leave me a comment with your thoughts, guys. Or is this, is this something you're interested in? Do you think you'll give it a look? I think a lot of people will try it out. Hopefully they'll support all three of these modes throughout the game's life cycle to keep players interested in playing them all. Of course, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Be sure to check out everything down in the description. The community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliates here on the channel, Empire Jerky and Amazon Associates. And I'll catch you all next time. Peace.